In this video, we're going to prove the identity which is written on the board. Sine 3a plus sine 2a minus sine a equals 4 times sine a times cosine 3a over 2 times cosine a over 2. First, let's take a look at these two summons, sine 3a and negative sine a. Keeping in mind the known trig identities, we can recall one of them. and transform this difference into the following product. So we have sine 3a minus sine a equals 2 times sine 3a minus a over 2 times cosine 3a plus a over 2. Or 2 times sine a times cosine 2a. Then let's have a look at, the, at this second one, at this second summons. Sine 2a. According to another trick identity, be transformed into the following product 2 times sine a times cosine a. Let's now substitute these, these newly obtained uh, expressions into the initial one and see where it leads us to. So instead of writing three, uh, sine 3a minus sine a, we're going to write this expression. 2 times sine a times cosine 2a and instead of writing sine 2a we'll write this expression plus 2 times sine a times cosine a Let's now factor out the 2 sine a So we have 2 times sine a times the sum cosine 2a plus cosine a. And let's recall another trig identity according to which cosine 2a plus cosine a was equal to 2 times cosine 2a plus a over 2 times cosine 2a minus a over 2. Let's now substitute this expression into the previous one. And see what happens. We can simplify it a little bit. Um, 2 times cosine 3a over 2 times cosine a over 2. we began from transformed into the following 2 sine a 2 times sine a times the sum cosine 2a plus cosine a which equals 2 times 
cosine 3a over 2 times cosine a over 2. Or 4 times sine a times cosine 3a over 2 times cosine a over 2, which is exactly what we were asked to prove.